5 Natural Hair Care Tips Let's now go on to see a well-detailed 5 natural hair care tips that can help to improve the health of your hair. 1. Follow a healthy, natural and balanced diet The first of the 5 useful natural hair care tips we are going to discuss today is, follow a healthy, natural and balanced diet. As we have seen, proteins compose hair from 65% up to 95%, so in order to keep it strong and healthy, you should follow a varied diet consisting of high-protein foods. Examples include Eggs meat fish soya cheese pulses peanuts, nuts, and almonds NB cooking food significantly decreases the biological value of proteins. Follow a healthy high-protein diet to have healthier and stronger hair Natural hair care tips The ideal daily intake of protein is related to body weight. Let's take some practical examples to understand how to calculate the protein value that we should take daily. Nutritionists calculate the minimum daily protein requirement by multiplying body weight by 0.8. For example, if your weight is 50 kilograms, you will need to consume a minimum of 40 grams of protein per day to be healthy. Those who practice sports should consume from 1.6 grams to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight for example 80 to 100 grams of protein per day for a weight of 50 kilograms. Be careful not to overdo it because overeating proteins can cause the liver to be stressed. A healthy diet rich in protein and regular physical exercise, will not benefit only your hair but your overall health in general. 2. Wash hair with warm water, not too cold or too hot, hydration is essential for the scalp. Furthermore, hair can only be strong when it grows from a healthy and hydrated scalp. A dry scalp can be a sign of skin imbalance. It can cause itching, irritation, dandruff, and hair can get damaged. In some cases, an extremely dry scalp can also cause hair loss. This is why it is necessary to take care of the hair with a valid shampoo and to nourish our skin and hair with special moisturizing and regenerating masks or wraps. What happens if I use hot water while taking a bath? When we take a shower, the use of extremely hot water can lead to dryness of the scalp and also weakens the hair, making it opaque and brittle for a long time. Even though you don't have to wash your hair with cold water in winter as you would risk catching a cold, it is advisable to use warm water between 20 and 22 degrees Celsius and to use cold water anything below 20 degrees Celsius only for the last rinse. Cold water will make your hair appear more shining in a natural way Natural high care tips which are the benefits of cold water on my hair? The benefits of cold water are different, it makes hair shinier avoiding that annoying and unsightly, dry brush, effect. It tightens the pores of the skin, blocking the entry of dirt and helping to keep the hair clean for a longer period of time. If your hair is very dirty, or you have to wash it after a mask or an oil-based pack, cold water is not the best solution because it does not completely eliminate dirt or grease. Therefore, it is better to use warm water and then use cold water for the last rinse to keep your hair shiny. Perhaps this is one of the most important of today's 5 natural hair care tips, but which we often tend to underestimate. Cold water will makes your hair shinier avoiding that annoying and unsightly dry brush effect natural hair care tips. 3. Try to avoid using a hairdryer, let your hair dry naturally whenever you can. The most superficial layer of the hair and the one that is most in contact with external atmospheric agents is the keratin layer. This protein is made up of long chains of amino acids. Creatin layer contains various vitamins and trace elements. Drying your hair with a dryer or the continuous use of straightener, tongs, electric brushes, etc. will deform the keratin layer due to excessive heat, and this will damage the hair and make it weak. What to avoid to have healthy strong and shiny hair Natural hair care tips watch out for the turban. It is also true that the traditional turban, that many, if not all women, use, is not an ideal method of drying hair. Most of us have the habit of wrapping towels around our heads giving the towel the typical look of a turban when we exit the shower. This drying method allows the towel to absorb the water present in the hair, leading it to a gradual drying. Do not use the hair dryer to avoid ruining them brittle them or risk creating split ends natural hair care tips The main problem with this method is that the towel has a reduced absorption capacity. Therefore, when it reaches its maximum capacity, it will stop absorbing excess water, leaving our hair still wet. Above all, if we wrap our hair in a wet cloth it will prevent complete drying. 
The hair will, therefore, be perpetually immersed in a jug of water. As we said, everything in excess hurts and an excess of water weakens and damages hair, especially the tips, which is the most delicate part. So, how can I dry my hair without ruining them? The best method to dry the hair is using a microfiber towel, gently rubbing the hair to remove excess water, and wrapping it with a dry towel only at the end when most of the excess water has been removed. Using a microfiber towel to dry your hair is delicate and will not ruin them natural hair care tips I would suggest a microfiber towel, which is more delicate on the skin and hair and absorbs more water compared to normal terry towels. Naturally, this type of drying requires time and patience. Since we lack time for ourselves most of the time, it is not always possible to use this natural method of drying hair. Furthermore, this is a solution that does not create too many problems in the summer, but in the winter when the temperature drops, it can cause some problems. Don't forget that having your head wet for too long is not healthy, initially, you may not feel any consequences, but within some years, the prolonged exposure to low temperatures with a wet head could lead to various problems, such as neck pain, headaches, etc. Be careful and make sure you are in a warm place, around at least 20 to 22 degrees Celsius when leaving the hair to dry naturally. An alternative to the traditional hairdryer the cap is an alternative solution that you can try instead of letting your hair dry naturally, which may not be advisable in the winter months. The hairdryer cap is the portable version of the domestic version of the classic professional dryers used by hairdressers. How to dry your hair gently and uniformly without stressing or damaging them This helmet allows you to dry hair gently and at low temperatures. In addition, before you wear it, you can apply curlers to replace the normal styling made by a hairdryer and brush. By using the dryer cap, it is possible to reduce the risk of burning the hair because it will not be too close to the flow of hot air or damage it with the brush. The hair will dry in a uniform way, avoiding stress with a jet of direct hot air. Moreover, with this method, you will not neglect some parts of your hair because some parts will not be excessively stressed than others due to a lack of airflow. Where to find the dryer cap The cap is not too expensive or too hard to find, you can buy it online or in specialized shops for hairdressers. The prices range from 7 euros to 57 euros, and the cap is available for everyone. If you know some good hair cap you can recommend, let us know in the comments section. 4. Be gentle with your hair This is advice to follow in the shower and at the beach. It is better not to brush wet hair and not to expose it to direct sunlight. After having a shower or at the beach, many of us have the habit of combing our hair as soon as we get out of the water while many do not wear a hat at the beach. Do not brush your hair when they are wet because they are more delicate when hair is wet, it is vulnerable. If you brush wet hair, it could get split or get damaged. Before your hair gets dry, it is good to apply a bit of linseed oil, coconut or castor oil to help untangle them better and to nourish the tips. Brush them gently once they are dry, hard brushing could damage it as well. Can the sun damage my hair? The sun too can damage your hair with ultraviolet rays, that is why it is advisable to wear a hat at the beach or put some cream or mask on, such as a carrots mask to protect it. Do you wish to know more about how to take naturally care of your hair during the summer? Read the article 7 Hair Care Tips for Summer 2019. Sun Wave. 5. Feed your hair with natural homemade masks The last but no less important of our 5 natural hair care tips is, remember to always keep skin and hair well dehydrated. As we have already said in point number 2, it is important to keep the scalp well hydrated in order to have a healthy, strong, and shiny hair. How to do it? One of the best methods for maintaining a healthy and properly hydrated scalp is to use coconut oil, linseed, castor, or jojoba oil after showering. There is no need to apply an exaggerated amount, we do not want hair to look oily, greasy, and not seductive at all, but we want to give it a healthy and shiny look instead. How much product should I use? The best way to not overdo it is to pour the oils in a spray dispenser to avoid oil wastage. Dosage for oils should be around 1 drop for normal to dry hair. For the oily hair, a 1 half drop of oil will be enough because greasy hair produces an overdose of natural oil which is why it may appear greasy, oily, and dirty faster compared to other kinds of hair. Nourish your hair properly Natural hair care tips You can apply the residue of the product left on your hands to the tips, this will help you better untangle your hair. 
to see great results, you need to be consistent.